Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's KW, the Blue Collar Worker, back at it with another tale of the tape. Today, I want to talk about an article I read about uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, the WBO welterweight champion, has to face Sean Porter next. And, um, and I'm wondering, will this fight ever take place? I know we heard it before, but uh, will it happen this time? Will Terrence Bud Crawford actually fight his friend Sean Porter? Well, let's talk about it. But before we get started, let's do the tail of the tape. Terrence Bud Crawford is the WBO welterweight champion. He has a net worth of $8 million. He's 33 years old. His height is 5'8". He's got a reach of 74 inches. And his boxing style is, is a boxer. Sean Porter, on the other hand, has a net worth of $5 million. His age is 33. His height is 5'7". His reach is 69 and a half. And he also is a welterweight. His boxing style is more of a, like a street fighter. So let's dive into this. Uh, Sean Porter has clearly been the uh, uh, busier boxer fighting some of the top people in the welterweight division. I mean, the guy faced, well, he lost to Kell Brooks, but he faced Kell Brook, Keith Thurman, Earl the Truth Spence, Danny Garcia, Yudanis Ugas, and a boring fight with Adrian Bronner, who likes to hold and pretend to be uh, Floyd Mayweather. But um, Terrence Bud Crawford, in my opinion, has fought a lot of good boxers too. But it seemed that uh, he's, he only want to uh, fight Earl the Truth Spence and Manny Pacquiao. But do you think Sean Porter could be a challenge to uh, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford? Let's talk about it. I think that Sean Porter, whoever he fights, will make it a really interesting fight. Sean Porter has an aggressive style of fighting. He tends to uh, be the aggressor, and it's more of a, a street brawl opposed to traditional boxing. But it works for him. So, you know, kudos to Sean Porter. You know, it works. You know, uh, but... Uh, can he beat Terrence Bud Crawford? Well, Terrence Bud Crawford is a talented superstar boxer. He has a lot of tools in the toolbox. You know, he's a switch hitter. Uh, he tends to start out a little slow, but Bud Crawford tends to finish late. So uh, can um, Sean Porter, with his style of fighting, beat someone like uh, Terrence Bud Crawford? Um uh, I would probably say it would be a really good fight because you saw him when he fought uh, Earl the True Spence, Sean Porter. Uh, that fight, in my opinion, could have really went either way. Uh, it wasn't a blowout. Yes, Earl got him in the later rounds, knocked him down. But still, that fight really could have went either way. So can it, can it repeat itself with uh, Terrence Crawford? I would say yes because... Uh, uh, Sean isn't a pushover. You know, he's had proved that, you know, he can get in there with the best and, and, and win or almost win. So that would be an interesting fight. Uh, I think that um, with Sean, Sean would be a lot of aggressiveness. It would be a lot of aggressiveness in it. But uh, what uh, Terrence have shown me is that he can deal with uh, a bully type fighter uh, because he's got the strength to do that. I don't know if you saw the uh, Jeff Horn fight, which was actually a good fight. And it was a lot of wrestling going on in there. And Terrence held his own. And one thing I like about Bud Crawford is that he's a switch hitter, meaning that, you know, he can fight you Two different styles if he wanted to. He's got a good jab. He's got strength in the ring. So I think that even with uh, Sean Porter aggressiveness, I believe that uh, Terrence Boyd Crawford will win the fight. You know, I mean, just um, from what I've seen from Terrence, 
Uh, Terrence is actually a really good fighter. But again, Terrence is really just holding out for two fighters. That's Manny Pacquiao or Earl Spence Crew. And I think once he get that bag, he's probably gone. And I, I was hearing rumors that his contract expires with top rank, I believe, this year. So he'll be leaving Bob Arum and, and doing his own thing. He'll probably go with premier boxing, I would imagine. And then this way he can pretty much write his own ticket. But, um, yeah, so I would say um, I would give the nod to Terrence Crawford in this. But I think it would be a really good fight, and I hope it happens. And, you know, something else, you know, I noticed about um, the welterweight division it's starting to get a little old now. I mean, think about it. Manny Pacquiao is 42. Earl the True Spence is 31. Keith Thurman is 32. Danny Garcia, even though he said he's moving up in weight, he's 33. Mikey Garcia, you know, he's 33. Yadonis Ugas, he's 34. You know, I mean, are we going to make this the senior welterweight division after a while? You know, I mean, you you still have your your young guns. Then the they in the holding right now. Uh, Virgil Ortiz at like what twenty two, and then you got Jerron Ennis at twenty three. But at the top of the the list, you got all guys in their thirty. So it's it's like kudos to them because it used to be when you got in your thirties in boxing, that was kind of considered getting old. But these guys are proving that, I guess, if you work out and you take care of yourself in and out of the, the ring, you know, you can prolong your boxing career. And these guys are proving it. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is really proving it. I mean, at 42, what is he, 42 or 43? I can't remember. But, you know, at 42 years old and you fighting Earl the True Spence, that's, that's kind of unheard of. But, you know, he has proved that he still got what it takes when he fought Keith Thurman. Yeah, Keith Thurman came on later in the rounds, but uh, Pacquiao clearly won that. And I don't think it's going to be really easy for Earl of Truth Spence either. I think that it's going to be a really good fight. But that's not what this video is about. It's about Terrence Bud Crawford versus Sean Porter. I think it's going to be a great fight. Look forward to it. And this is KW, the blue collar worker, back at it with another video. Thank you, guys. Take care.